Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. This reading uh, may or may not resonate with you. If you find it doesn't fit your story, I recommend checking out another reading on my channel with the title that stands out to you. Um, you know, there was a reason why you clicked on this video today, so you know, don't lose hope if you find this message doesn't fit right away. And I'm sure you'll find something that you're looking for in my other videos. Okay, we're going to shoot this video facing the cards today. I had that request from a couple of my lovely subscribers. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I might switch back and forth between shooting videos like this and also shooting videos face to face. I'm not sure how things are going to go, but we'll start with this tonight. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. Let's pull some spirit animal cards to get started. Your first card is the seahorse spirit. This card says watch and wait. Mm -hmm. Watch and wait. Okay. We also have the electric eel spirit, which says bring your ideas to life. Okay. Underneath the bottom of the deck is now is a lucky time. So yeah, with your manifestations, we don't know how they're going to happen. All we can do is watch and wait and do our best and, you know, uh, apply ourselves in the way that we know uh, is going to get the results. But be prepared for your ideas to come to life in unexpected ways. Um, what you're hoping for could happen in the flash of a lightning strike. You know, it could be quite random how something happens in your life. And uh, it's not very random, though, because you have been watching and waiting for this. It's just uh, how it comes in is a bit unexpected. We could be talking about love, career, goals. We could be talking about anything, really. Let's see what the angel tarot cards have to say. Well, we have three cards coming through. They're all really positive too. We have the three of fire, which says abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So there's abundance here that's going to be coming towards you. Having patience, watching and waiting, that is a theme. Uh, make long-term plans. And then we have victory. Eventually you do accomplish what you want or you do get what you want. It says good news is on its way. Public recognition or rewards. Awards in some area. Um, so that's great. That's really good for your manifestations. Wands talk about what we want to create. And... Uh, the Nine of Earth, the Nine of Pentacles says, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So yeah, it can talk about self-employment. Um, it can talk about our financial goals in general. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. We're going to grab 10 tarot cards and build a 10 card tarot spread. So we have the Six of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Empress. We have the Temperance card in the recent past. And in the distant past, we have the Emperor. 
in the future is the Three of Swords. We have the Sun card representing you. We have the Queen of Pentacles in your environment position. We have the Two of Pentacles in your fears and desires. And we have the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Wands underneath the bottom of the deck. Okay, just getting used to this new setup again, or my old setup, I should say. So we're talking about watching and waiting. Abundance is coming in. Victory, bringing your ideas to life. And uh, we see the Empress card in the middle of the reading with the Queen of Pentacles. Both talk about uh, the Divine Feminine, the Mother figure, the, um, the one who gives birth to uh, new creations. There is abundance here. Um, and it just seems like a lot of these cards are reversed. Let's just say that for sure. The only cards that are upright are the Temperance card and the Three of Swords, which talks about healing from heartache, healing from grief, separation, wounding. And uh, it's in the future position and it's in the recent past. So um, in order for your blessings to come in, there is um, some healing that's going to happen naturally over time with your attention as well. You do need to pay attention to this and to be active in its healing process. Um, we also see here that um, we have an emperor and an empress with a temperance card in between. It's almost as if um, some of you may be trying to heal a relationship that you are in. And if I'm going to be very honest with you in the future, it looks like one person or the other person or both people you know, in order for them to heal, in order for them to move forward and to create what they want to create in this life, it's not going to be together. And, you know, I'm sorry to put it that way, but um, here we have the temperance card spilling one cup of water into the next, trying to mix things together, trying to find balance, trying to find a way to make something work. Then we have another card down here, two pentacles of balancing things and mixing things. And... Um, It may feel like the potential is there for healing, but you, you know, you can only focus on your own healing, your own self-improvement within a relationship dynamic. You can't control the other person's process. And it feels like, um, There are negative influences in the form of people, either in your life or your person's life. Naysayers, people who are like against your relationship in some way. I don't like to, you know, create paranoia over these types of things, but uh, we do have these queens reversed down here. And I'm looking at the main character in this reading being either an emperor or an empress, depending on how you resonate with this reading. So, um, here we have a partnership that is trying to heal. And then down here we have another partnership that is, you know, interfering is what I'm hearing with the two of pentacles here. So, um, It also could be that very specific message, but someone may have daughters or sisters 
that are, you know, not happy with the relationship dynamic between you and your person. And uh, that could also be creating strife. We have cards of children here with the sun and the six of cups. These queens could very well be siblings or children. So the situation is saying watch and wait. Bring your ideas to life. So there's a focus here on what it is that you can control. What can you manifest in this dynamic? And focus on that. Bring life and growth into an area of your life that you've been wanting to see growth in life within. And it will happen. The sun will shine. The growth will happen. And uh, how this relationship dynamic is going to work itself out. Currently, it's on a projection of like not working itself out. But um, that could be because there's so much focus on this relationship dynamic right now that um, there's a lot of pressure to try to make something work. And it's just the way that it it's being approached right now isn't leading to success within this relationship. But it's not saying that this relationship doesn't have success in the future. It just means you have, if in order for that to happen, you have to take a step back from um, trying to fix things in a situation and, and focus on yourself more, Pisces. Um, the other person involved also has to do the same. And uh, only then will things come together. You have a lot of major arcana in this reading, so that makes it a little bit more challenging to read, I will be honest. Um, as well as the court cards, the only cards that give evidence of what's going on from a more worldly perspective are the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Even the Ace is kind of elusive because Aces represent potential. They're not really manifested. So there's potential for growth here. There's potential for passion, a reignition, a spark. Um, but not if someone's messing around, not if someone's putting this relationship last, not if someone's betraying or hurting the other person. You know, I don't know who's doing what, but... There's obviously some type of darkness overshadowing this relationship dynamic. And, um, you know, there's not much that can be done with the Two of Pentacles right here. The universe is trying to smooth things over because it looks at the beauty between these two people. The Emperor and the Empress don't just come out in any reading when they're together. Like, you don't want to dis discount that or dismiss it. You want to look at it and see that even though they're reversed and even though there's the separation card here in the future, it it's still a very strong connection and and uh, you know there, there there still is opportunity for healing. but um, its current trajectory in the future is separation. And that might be because of children involved or just painful memories and um, Things are repeating themselves. Lessons haven't been learned. Um, Self-worth, self-value, the ability to create anything that you want to create. I feel like you have to reclaim that, Pisces. I feel like you have to show, prove to yourself that you can accomplish goals in your life that are not dependent on this other person not saying that like you're codependent or anything. I'm sure you've accomplished many goals with, you know, in your own power. Um, but, uh, you know, say for example, if 
one person in the dynamic has been known to cheat or to lie about things. And then the other person, maybe you, might be over, like, have very difficult difficulties like trusting a person even after a situation has come to light and there's been forgiveness and there's been an understanding that it won't happen again so it's like one person has to do their own personal work and evaluate why they they left and went outside of a relationship and then another person here has to do their personal work on like self-value and being able to trust again and being able to open up their heart again so um I'm just giving an example, but that might be exactly what some of you are going through here. So this relationship definitely needs work. Um, but at this time, um, it might be better for two people to try to figure things out on their own, whether that means separating for a period of time and then coming back together or whether that means doing like counseling uh, in separate, like separately, um, or uh, while one person figures out why they, like what their issues are, what's stopping them from be taking lead in this dynamic and, and being dependable and being, um, you know, present within the relationship, the other person has to evaluate what it is that they're lacking on the inside as well. Um, if only just to give back to themselves, you know, because when we give to ourselves, when we feel abundant within ourselves, then we have a lot to offer within a relationship. If, if we're always, um, you know, looking outside of ourselves and not paying attention to ourselves and just paying attention to the relationship, that abundance starts to dwindle. And um, I just want to say that the, the very first few cards that came through in this reading were abundance, expectations and goals, and then victory, and then abundance here again. So, um, there are, there are positive omens for this relationship dynamic. It's just kind of trying to, sh you know, the, the cards are trying to slap some reality into the situation and show that, like, this is how things are looking right now. But it's not set in stone. I don't see concrete in these cards. The only spot I see concrete is in this chair that the Emperor is sitting in. So somebody has to take responsibility. Whether it's you or another person. For their actions and step up. Or for their lack of action. And the other person needs to, this might be you, Pisces, find a way to feel nurtured, to feel seen, and to feel like you can trust yourself. I hope that makes sense. So, um... With this, bring your ideas to life. It's kind of like an electric electricity card. Electricity can be unpredictable, um, just like a lightning strike, but it also can be um, like a current, a current of energy. Um, and uh, the undercurrent in this relationship is very emotionally charged is what I'm hearing and a lot of those emotions can be dealt with responsibly as an adult by each person and then some of those emotions can be dealt with together or with a meet intermediary and there's definitely influences in this connection 
like children or like siblings connected to you or to your partner that um, don't have like a lot of like they're they're negatively impacted by this relationship dynamic or they're or they're net or they are negatively impacting this relationship dynamic so I don't know if you know something something along those lines there's not too much information about that because we just have 10 cards but yeah and I don't want to make it too specific I feel like this reading has been very specific so um we're just going to leave it here. So hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again soon.